Imagine a future where artificial intelligence revolutionizes the way that you experience sports. By analyzing vast amounts of data and making intelligent decisions, AI can assist the teams, the athletes, and even the fans like you and me. Artificial intelligence is already having an impact on coaching decisions and customized tailored training programs. And there's a myriad of new ways that AI is being used to try to bring the experience closer to you. So we're gonna dive into the thrilling future where artificial intelligence and sports collide. So WSN just released a series of AI-generated images of athletes in Wes Anderson films. Cristiano Ronaldo as a skilled lighthouse keeper with a mysterious past on a remote picturesque island. LeBron James as a talented hat maker who must navigate the challenges of fame. Aaron Rodgers as a retired eccentric British explorer embarking on a whimsical journey. Serena Williams as a reclusive violin prodigy who's been invited to perform at a prestigious concert hall but has to confront her crippling stage fright. Patrick Mahomes as a master calligrapher who's been recruited to forge a critical document during a time of political unheaval. Stephen Curry as a quirky inventor with a passion for creating whimsical, bioluminescent creatures in a quaint European village. Travis Kelsey as an orphan with an uncanny knack for fixing watches. Or Trevor Lawrence, an eccentric toy maker who becomes both the mastermind and the victim of his own intricate world. Okay, so enough fantasy, let's come back to the real world where we have the robotic ping pong partner that you have been waiting for. Okay, so you're gonna be amazed to hear that Laura Grosher, who is an AI and robotics expert, has built a ping pong playing robot known as the IS2R, which stands for the Iterative Sim2 Real Project. So this artificial intelligence started with a basic understanding of human behavior, and then it was continuously training both in the virtual world and the real world. So it would jump back and forth to update its training data from the real world, then play a bunch of virtual games faster than anybody ever could in the real world. And each step of the way, it refined its strategy. But that strategy is technically known as the policy when it comes to AI research. And by the end of its training, its policy was so robust bus that it could maintain a 22 hit combination with a real person. And the best part is that the strategy that IS2R learned is actually something that can be a foundation for many more models. So there can be a lot more ping pong playing robots with different form factors in the near future. Imagine having the ability to integrate this skill by simply downloading it to any robotic arm that you find. And then you have a new ping pong playing partner wherever the robotic arm is mounted. And even though nobody wants to admit it, sometimes it's not actually about how you play the game, it's about the equipment. So imagine a tennis racket that is perfectly crafted to you, inspired by nature, but designed by cutting edge artificial intelligent technology. This one of a kind racket would have a striking appearance and feature a distinctive web-like structure at its core. But it's not just about the aesthetics, this racket would also give you a competitive advantage, drawing inspiration in its strength from from Mother Nature and the way she designed hollow bones. So this is what AI came up with when it was asked to redesign the tennis racket. But of course there's a catch. So actually to build this tennis racket, it requires a 3D metal printer. And even though it's made of a heavier material, it would technically be lighter because there's less material overall. And that's a really advanced manufacturing technique that isn't how most tennis rackets are made. So another way that artificial intelligence and 3D printing is transforming sports. So have you heard of the student athlete that's getting paid to promote an AI tool to help with homework because it's causing quite a stir in some circles. So this LSU gymnast, Olivia Dune, got paid to show a quick video on TikTok about how she used a program to help with her homework. So she needed to write an essay about why gymnastics is the toughest sport and she leaned on the tool for help. And that got people divided on whether or not it's okay for a student athlete to promote a tool like this. Some think she went too far and she's promoting a tool to help students cheat. Others think that it's just a technological advancement that all students should grow up with. But AI can do more than just do homework homework now, it can actually replace the commenters for your favorite sport. So golf fans at this year's Masters tournament won't be allowed to pull their phones out at any point. They're very strict on that rule. But in the case of the artificial intelligence that they're training, it gets special treatment. So the Masters app, which is powered by IBM, will offer you access to over 20,000 clips. And each of those golf clips is actually paired with AI-generated commentary. So this has been a five-year project with IBM, but this will be the first year that the commentary will actually be placed on top of the clips. Now back in 2019, the Masters app for people who wanted to follow the game would show every single swing from every single golfer. And then users could customize their favorite golfers, their favorite holes, and they could get a combination of just what they wanted to see. However, all those individual clips lacked commentary. But now IBM has introduced Henry an AI-driven generative computer commentator that brings the action to life with a descriptive narration. And Henry can adapt his voice, he has inflections that can go up and down, he understands what he's seeing. 
So even if you watch the clip two or three times, you'll feel like it's more fresh because each time it will generate new comments. So that might get you thinking, how good is the next generation of sports video games gonna look? And I can tell you, pretty darn good. Researchers at DeepMind have trained a new artificial intelligent avatar to play soccer. They started by teaching this rigged model how to run and dribble, and then they moved into more complex skills like teamwork and anticipating a pass. They started by teaching this rigged avatar just the basics of how to move around with a soccer ball. Then from running to dribbling to more complex skills like receiving a pass and protecting the ball. In the first phase, AI just learned to run by imitating human soccer players. In the second phase, it practiced dribbling and kicking the ball. And in the third phase, they challenged the artificial intelligent avatar to score a goal against two opponents. And you can see from this video just how realistic the motions are. These characters really, they almost feel overly animated, but they're very interesting to watch. And they do have like a very excited human-like vibe to them, in my opinion. And DeepMind is now transferring some of these same basic skills into real robots. And eventually, they hope that a real robot will be skilled enough to kick down a door one day in the real world. But assuming right now you're safe at home and your door hasn't been kicked down, thank God, then you might be watching basketball on TV and notice that some of the decisions that they're making seem incredibly unintuitive, but yet also seem to work. Well, that's because AI is helping with decision making. Imagine that you're watching a close basketball game, the kind where one basket might change the outcome. Now in these critical moments, the NBA is turning to machine learning and artificial intelligence that can tell them what decision to make. And when you run big data through amazing machine learning programs, you find out that having possession, especially late in a close game, makes a big difference on who wins. So the clever researchers came up with a special value called an EPV, and that stands for expected possession value. That's a value per player about how important it is that they hold the ball. And by taking the court and where the players are at any given moment, a snapshot of that moment, you can calculate every player's EPV, who the person who has the ball might pass it to, and then you can actually get a prediction for how well that's gonna do. And then you can pull out a prediction for if they're gonna get that point or win the game. So next time you see a close call and the ball's in someone's hand who's not a superstar, it might be because the EPV thinks they're the best player. So it's no secret that sometimes sports is a little bit celebrity driven, and sometimes it's not just about who the best player is, but it's who the best personality is, who can garner the most energy. And even though magazines do like to focus on that, recently somebody took an artificial intelligent interview to too far. A German magazine editor just got fired because he published a fake artificially intelligent generated interview with legendary Formula One driver Michael Schumacher. But the outrage is because Michael Schumacher got into a ski accident back in 2013 and the injuries were extremely serious. He's never even been seen in public since that day. And the fake interview was super unclassy too. It had these AI generated quotes from Schumacher's friends and family and the magazine even used it as their cover story. Like it was was like some kind of breaking news sort of thing. So no surprise, but when his family found out, they decided to take immediate legal action. Now in response, the publisher issued this big apology, but it's just, this is the world that we're about to step into and it's time for us all to be aware. Now, if you're a baseball fan, you know your team better than anyone else. You feel like sometimes you've learned enough about them that they could pick you to make their new motto. Well, that's exactly what one sports writer did, but he used artificial intelligence to generate new unofficial team mottos for all of these major league baseball teams. So sports writer, Dan Sizembroski used artificial intelligence to read all of the team's written history on the internet and come up with an unofficial motto. So some of my personal favorites from this list were the Colorado Rockies, with their motto being, it's going to be beautiful or maybe acceptable. The Baltimore Orioles, there's no me in strikeout. Yeah, there's not, good one. The San Diego Padres, welcome to hell and like it. Which at least felt a little bit more self-aware than the Tampa Bay Rays. Their AI generated motto is we're so busy winning, we don't need you. Really, you don't need your fans, the ones that pay for everything. So as a Las Vegas resident, I was excited to hear that the Oakland Athletics are gonna be relocating to Sin City. So I was disappointed to see that our team's unofficial motto is hitting is for suckers? Ah. 